As we tape this program, we're experiencing extremely cold temperatures and snowy weather. We're hoping that our viewers can provide information if any of our fugitives have left for warmer climates or decide to remain here in Maryland and hunker down with friends and relatives. Please, don't let any of those tips go cold. Send those hot tips in to us. Kia Renee Woodis is wanted for failing to appear on a circuit court charge on February 3rd. She's 26 years old, African-American female, five foot seven inches tall, 170 pounds. The warrant gives her address as Wilson Road in Graysonville, but she's at several addresses in Kent County, including Rock Hall and Chestertown. She also has several family ties to Kent County as well. If you have any information on Ms. Woodis' whereabouts, you're urged to send us that anonymous tip. Ronald Stephen Hall. This guy lasted about two months on his probation for a theft conviction. Hall's a white male, 26 years old, 5'8", 130 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. Hall has tattoos galore, including Darren on his left arm, Ronnie on his right arm, Cody on his left calf, and other tattoos include Muggsy on his right hand, Betty on his left hand, and this guy even has a marijuana leaf on his shoulder. Hall's last known address is Old Mill Road in Millersville, but it has been reported that he's shown up here in Cloverfields. Valerie Jean Williams is wanted on a recently issued arrest warrant for theft. Everybody knows this lady. She operated a travel agency located in Chester, and she allegedly had failed to book a customer's cruise. She cashed the check and pocketed over $3,000. Williams is also known as Valerie Hafe and Valerie Wood. She's a white female in her 50s. She has red hair, and records show she's 5 foot 6 inches tall and 200 pounds. Investigators believe that she's somewhere near Westminster, Maryland, or possibly in the Saxton, Pennsylvania area. Miss Williams, you've got an obligation to this community here in Queen Anne's County to do the right thing and turn yourself in. This is one of those cases where the light bulb should go off. After failing to appear in court for a conference on January 6th, obviously an arrest warrant is going to be issued. Stephen C. Greenberg of Annapolis failed to appear and the arrest warrant was issued. Greenberg is six foot two inches tall, 225 pounds, 40 years old, white male. Records show his last known address was Harbor Heights Drive in Annapolis. However, he could be in the Dundalk area. The original charge in this case is theft between $10,000 and $100,000. We need your tips. Again, in this case, an arrest warrant's issued. Connie Lynn Stowers decided not to appear in circuit court on December 2, 2014, just to answer the charge for violation of probation. Attempts to serve the warrant at her last known address in Centerville have found that she's relocated possibly to Sickleville, New Jersey area. However, she still has friends and family here in Queen Anne's County. Stowers is 36 years old, white female. She's also known as Connie Rogers. The warrant lists her as five foot six inches tall, 155 pounds, hazel eyes, and brownish blonde hair. Three weeks ago, Queen Anne's County Circuit Court issued an arrest warrant charging James Edward Stubbs II with violation of probation. His original charges were theft, malicious destruction of property, and burglary. Stubbs has brown hair, brown eyes, and is listed as five foot two inches tall, 136 pounds, Records show that he may be living on Trunkline Road near Henderson, Maryland. I want to advise all of our viewers of a new plan at the Sheriff's Office. We didn't think of this idea, but we certainly copied a great idea from Oklahoma. This is called Transaction Safe Place. Have you ever had one of those transactions occur online when you think something might be too good to be true, or the person wants to meet you in a secluded spot to make that transaction or possibly obtain that cash? Queen Anne's County's Transaction Safe Place offers a safe place for you to do online transactions. In the news recently, there was a tragic story about an elderly Georgia couple who arranged a meeting to close on a deal from a classified ad. The victims had cash and met with someone they believed was going to possibly sell them a classic car. The couple disappeared. Sadly and tragically, their bodies were recovered several days later and the suspect was then arrested. While this hasn't happened here in Queen Anne's County, we want to make sure that the citizens of Queen Anne's County have a safe place to conduct transactions that are initiated through online sales, such as Craigslist. 
Persons who seek to prey on our citizens will not likely conduct business transactions in a law enforcement parking lot with law enforcement present as well as being surveilled by surveillance. Effective immediately, the Office of the Sheriff in Queen Anne's County welcomes anybody in the public to close your online deals here at our headquarters located in Centerville in the parking lot or in our lobby. It can be a bit unnerving to meet a total stranger or have some stranger come by your residence to look at or buy your valuable items, especially if they're doing cash. We believe that offering a safe haven, it will give folks this peace of mind that is well deserved. The Office of the Sheriff, Queen Anne's County is conveniently located at 505 Railroad Avenue in Centerville. We're located just down from the Acme. We have staff on duty 24 hours a day, and to ensure the staff is aware of your scheduled transaction, all we ask you to do is give us that phone call. We do encourage you, however, to do your transactions during daylight hours in our parking lot. You can call us at 410-758-0770 prior to your arrival. Right now, I've got investigators in North Carolina working on a case. I can't wait to bring you the breaking news that they find with a case that so many of you have been following. I want you to look at our next edition of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted as we expect to have some breaking news on an armed robbery case from last year. And we've profiled this several times. The other question I get, I was in Acme this weekend. Everybody came up to me and said, Sheriff, did you get any of those Valentines that you were trying to hook up with? Stay tuned, we'll give you some information, possibly on some of our Valentine's Day Most Wanted.